in my life, I've seen so many different things that, that what I see now is that when I'm in a state of joy, this flow along in joy, that the Holy Spirit uses all the symbols uh, in different ways, just as symbols. So like in the early years when I first started traveling, you know, I was ready to just take off kind of solo, but the Holy Spirit had other ideas. Uh, the Holy Spirit paired me up with a woman to travel around in, and at the time I didn't even realize it, but I think it's easier for people to accept a couple uh, into their home than it is a single man or a single woman, uh, because of most of the homes we went to were couples, mm -hmm. and couples relate to couples. <laughs> uh, it's, it's more comforting. It was, more, it was like a gentle, like, okay, you'll be accepted in, even though this woman I was paired up with, we weren't married, I would go give a talk at a church or at a course center or whatever, and people would come up to me and touch my arm and say, oh, your wife this and your wife that. People just see what they believe. Mm -hmm. And that was another good lesson. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, it doesn't matter whether you even mention anything, uh, people will just see what they believe. They'll put it in their little boxes. And so, I was paired up with this woman, Beverly, and then the singer-songwriter, Donna Marie Carey, who's I have here, played one of her songs in a little while, and and different ones. And then there was times when I did solo travels, and then in recent years, like I don't I'm not multilingual, so the Holy Spirit's sending me into other countries, and I'm getting paired up with uh, people that speak the languages <laughs> of these countries, so I can get around and and order food and find out where the bathroom is and <laughs> and uh, and let the Holy Spirit speak through so we can have these intimate gatherings without any kind of language barriers. Mm -hmm. So now, who I get paired up with is more of a functionality of what would serve the greater mm -hmm. whole. And I've always stayed open. I mean, I stay open to even to the, to, the, to the marriage thing in the sense that I don't really feel like there's any form that's more sacred than another form. Uh, and I see how the Holy Spirit can use all of the forms. And even though I don't have a ring and I'm not, I don't have a partner and so forth at this point, it, at some point on the journey that may come in in the sense that it would just be used as a symbol that uh, men and women don't have to be fighting all the time. <laughs> that, we can, that we can have har harmony. And I could see where that could be a very powerful symbol uh, in this world where there's such adversity and there's so much, you know, divorce and so much, even among marriages, conflict and everything. So, 